This is the uh, burnt notice here. For some reason it just stopped recording so I had to start over. I'm not going to start over from scratch. So this is just more of this area here. It's another dumby I just put in. There's a sweet almond I just put in. They'll fill in and give me shade so I'll have more opportunity to put shade loving bromelids in. There is an African iris blooming. Some crotons. Another shooting star clarodendron. The uh, copper leaves. That's a red fire spike. A chartre uh, chartreuse. Uh, it's a purple lilac leaf colored uh, flower spike. see the color there on these one. This one's really blooming. Some of the others are kind of going help. And there's a pink passion near Regilia. There is that big Mexican album marginated. It's just stunning. It's massive. And there's a Hohenbergia fudge ripple. And a hibiscus. Another one of those coral trees. That is a form of poinsettia back there. It's an unusual kind. And then that green plant back there is a tropical lilac. A red powder puff. There's an agapanthus getting ready to bloom. That's a bractifolia in bloom, which is really pretty. And then that's my big dumbbea. It's the pink ball gets like six inch long threads with these big six, seven inch round pink balls, it's just the most amazing scent to them. And then there's another tropical lilac down there. I just relocated that orange croton. Some agapanthus in bloom, a different type of virus. The moringa tree that was really tiny, like a stick two years ago, I guess it was, three years ago, two years ago. No, it was just a stick. We have a moringa smoothie now in the mo in the uh, afternoon. That's our lunch. It's really good for you. Just the front. Bishop's cloak. Oh, I do have a canistrum blooming. I wanted to show you this. This is really cool. It's just starting to come out. Yeah, it's not come out enough yet. Let's see it there. Yeah. It ends up looking like a tulip. It's a really unusual genus. There's a few different types of canistrums, but that one's really pretty. And, of course, you can really see the sweet almond tree from here. And the uh, large Skinner Eye. The larger pink panties. The Portia. A smaller pink panties. Uh, you can really see the um, tropical lilac in bloom here, and that's um, they use that in perfumes. It's got an unusual scent. It's kind of an odd, musky scent, but it's really neat. And uh, again, a close-up of the uh, agapanthus, which are so pretty. And you can see the moringas in bloom, and you know, the white flowers on the tree down there. And they taste really good. They're really good for you. So, I'm hoping this turns out. I don't know why it stopped. I think it overheats. But I'm going to turn around slowly. Front of the house. Front flower bed. And then that's what it looks like looking down. And that's the yard. So, there you go.